So we are going to try this again. Sorry for those of you that tuned in earlier for our live chat. We had all this kind of crazy YouTube technical difficulties, but I'm back. And I would love it for those of you that are night owls today and are still tuning in. I know a lot of people were interested in signing up for the class that I was talking about, but there was kind of some gaps here and there where it was getting a little bit choppy. So I decided to do another live chat. So for those of you that are tuning in, I see some of you are creeping in right now. Go ahead and let me know where you're tuning in from. My name is Vanessa. I'm The Crafty Gemini. On YouTube, I have a channel called The Crafty Gemini where I post instructional video tutorials on all kinds of stuff. And I'm coming to you here from what is soon going to be the new Crafty Gemini Fabric Shop and Studio in Gainesville, Florida. So we're not quite open to the public yet, but we will be in the next couple of weeks. So I am filming this live chat. Hey, Tamara. Thank you. Hi, Lori from Louisiana. Awesome. And um, I just wanted to share with you all an update on my latest class that just opened up yesterday online. If you're familiar with my free video tutorials, you may just know that that's what I do, free video tutorials. But I also host a series of online video courses that are paid, so they're not free like the content on YouTube, but you sign up for them, and trust me, they're really, really worth the money. Um, they're very in-depth, thorough, and then you also get unlimited access to the course content. So once you sign up for one of my classes or online clubs, those video step-by-step -step video lessons never expire, so you can always go back in. Hey, Sharon from Washington State. Actually, those of you that are tuning in now, if you've ever signed up for one of my paid classes, whether it be an online garment sewing class or one of my one-off handbags or projects or any of my online quilt clubs, go ahead and leave me a little line in the comments so maybe some of those uh, people who are tuning in and have never signed up for one of my online courses, um, give me a little one-line testimonial or let us know what class you signed up for and what you thought of it. That would be awesome to get a feel for how many of you are returning students as well. Hi, Harriet from Miami, my hometown. So I wanted to share with you all that my latest online garment sewing paid for class is just opened up, just opened up yesterday. And the first video lesson goes live next Tuesday, April 16th, 2019. So what I tend to do for my online classes is that I'll do a, a little window, maybe three to five days of an early bird sale price, which for you, if you're watching live or you're watching within that three to five day window, is a good sign because that means you get to save some money if you're going to sign up for the class. So my online, uh, the latest class, I should say, the latest online class is going to be for Jali 3245. This is the pattern that we're going to be working with. Now, keep in mind that the pattern is a separate purchase because I didn't design it. It's not mine. I can't just include it in the price. Uh, this is Jali. This is an independent kind of sewing pattern company. It's a mom and daughter duo, and they are French Canadian, so they live in Canada. And you can see that there's four looks here. So I'm gonna walk you through in my new online course, step-by-step -step video lessons on all four looks. And that's not just like instruction on how to make it. I mean, we start from the beginning. We go over the pattern sizing chart, how to take your measurements, how to measure and choose the pattern that you will fall under in Jali's size chart. So remember, there's no set kind of just blank, um, and I should not cut off my head here. There's no set blank size chart for all pattern companies. You have to look at that specific pattern that you're wanting to make and find your measurements and see where you land on their pattern uh, size charts, okay? There's a lot of stuff going on on the back of this sheet if you see here. Uh, the pattern comes in 29 sizes, <laughs> okay? I teach a lot of kids. I make stuff for my kids. My kids sew their own clothes. So I like to get patterns that are really my best bang for my buck. And I have yet to find a pattern company that offers more sizes with patterns that need less modifications than these. I'm gonna show you. So let me open this up. If we can get a, a more fuller view, at least of this top. So the top is called the Raglan T and Racerback Tank. If you saw the live chat I did on my Facebook page yesterday, I was wearing it. This is the Raglan T-shirt. This is in my size, and my size is a size Z, according to, you know, this is where I, I fall in Jolly's size chart which for US sizes here is about a 13 on their chart. So this, the one pattern, not obviously this little sheet, but the big pattern sheet that comes in it covers 29 sizes from 12 month old to size US women's 22. So for my size, this is the size 13. So it goes from here up to a 22. So you can see that there's a huge size range all the way from a one year old, okay? And I wanted to show you a smaller one that my daughter made because she cut out, let me see, is a size seven, is a size K in Jolly patterns. So the same exact pattern was used to make both of these. She's almost fully outgrown this one already. She made herself another one in yellow and black. 
And I think that one she made the size L, which is the next size up eight. And that's the awesome thing about a pattern like this. If you have kids or you're making this for kids, hello, you can make one every three months. <laughs> and just make a couple ahead of time because you can sit down and make these assembly line style and make them in every size up, 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 right? And as the kid outgrows it, boom, they can grab the next one. So same pattern, I'm just showing you a couple of the different sizes in the middle of the full size range, right? 12 month, all the way up to US women's size 22. And that is the first look that we have here. Okay, this is the girl with the raglan t-shirt and uh, the contrasting sleeve, the same way that I like to make mine. But you can also make it with the same, or use, excuse me, use the same fabric for the body and the sleeve. Okay, that's also an option, which is actually what you see her wearing here. So this is the same fabric. Oop, sorry, I'm trying to get y'all a good look at this. This is the same fabric, or excuse me, the same pattern, raglan tee. So the sleeves on this are still the raglan style of this one. But she used the same fabric for sleeves and body and the tunic length. You can see that it's a little bit longer. She's wearing it kind of like with leggings or tights. And now that, both the length of that tunic and um, that option is included in the pattern, right? So we can make a raglan tee, the shorter top, which is not very short at all. It actually is the same length as this one. So if you're someone who tends to, you know, you get a lot of like short shirts and you hate them because you got to keep yanking them down or you want it to be a little bit longer, um, this is the regular length. So imagine the tunic length is gonna be nice and longer. So we will be walking through all those looks. And I'm gonna answer some of your questions here, but in a second, let me go through the other looks. The other one is, you can see, is a sleeveless racer back tank, this guy, this one here. And then she's wearing it here in the in a kind of a mini dress version, which is the tunic length of the same racer back tank top. And so that is the top that I'm wearing here now. So. I wore this one yesterday on my live chat that I did on Facebook. This is in the pattern, I mean, this is one of the tops in the pattern, and this is the other. This is a racer back tank, so let me show you. For a cute jeans and a tank top, I live in Florida, I need a gazillion of these for sure, and I will be making them. Then, you can see the length, and they have rounded hems. The bottom half of this racer back tank is the same as the one here. And if that doesn't make sense, you'll see it when we get into the class, okay? how we set that up. So a different top half, but the rounded hem is the same on both. So it comes all the way down here. And then on the back, you can see we get some pretty good coverage down there too, okay? So a nice, cute little rounded hem for a comfy tank top. Another thing, nice wide straps here. They're not spaghetti straps, right? We're not teenagers anymore, at least I'm not. And um, I want something thicker to hold, whether I'm gonna be using it as a little workout tank to wear a sports bra underneath, Another thing is that I don't have these huge gaping armholes on this. And now I'm talking to you about this because I made this tank top just straight from the pattern, cut out the size Z, I made zero modifications. I usually have to shorten this part here uh, on most commercial, like typical, you know, Simplicity McCall's, those big four patterns. I have to shorten it here from my shoulder to my bust point is shorter than typical on commercial patterns. I didn't have to do that here, okay? What else? Um, the neckline, I like the, the, the how deep it is. It's not too deep and it's not too high for me, but this is something that we'll talk about in the online course and I'll show you how to make it higher. I know that on the raglan t-shirt, some people find that it's a little bit too open and revealing here, so I will share with you some tips on how to bring up the neckline a little bit higher, especially if you have a problem maybe on the little kids' tops, if they have narrow shoulders and it kind of gapes out a little bit, I'll help you bring that neckline up so that it's not too revealing on a chest on the little girl that maybe is not yet wearing right little tank tops and stuff under her other tops, okay? So let me show you, because um, I did a live stream on Instagram and somebody wanted to see the racer back tank, or the racer back part of it, okay? So there it is. You can see it's nice and comes up on the sides. If you wear a lot of racer back, um, ooh, here, all of my lip gloss. If you wear a lot of racer back sports bras, Great for that. I'm gonna make some of these in work for workout stuff, and I'm gonna make them a couple sizes bigger. I'm gonna use something airier, like a rayon jersey, something that's really, really lightweight. This fabric here, because I saw some people were asking, we are working with a cotton spandex, and this is what I recommend to begin with, because one of the main reasons is they come in a ton of different solid colors, and the solids typically tend to be more affordable and fabric-wise than prints, okay? So this print that I'm wearing here, I'll go here. Pull it for you. This is a Robert Kaufman knit. My friend Carolyn Friedlander designed this collection. Uh, Blake, it's called. And uh, it's a quilting cotton collection, right? But then Robert Kaufman prints it in different substrates, meaning in different 
types of fabric. So it's not a quilting cotton. This is a cotton spandex blend. And so some of her prints, which I love them, when they come in apparel substrates, I tend to buy them. Hence a couple of different bolts I have of hers back there. But let me get this close up so you can kind of see what it is. Okay, Ooh, wrong direction there. All right, and now something like this, because it's designer quality, it's amazing quality cotton spandex. It's 95% uh, cotton, 5% spandex. So, so machine washable. And I have made a couple of other um, different t-shirts, my Westchester Dolman top, out of other Robert Kaufman uh, knit. And I've washed the shirt at least 100 times and it looks amazing. This stuff retails for like 15 to $18 a yard. So if you're a first timer and you're gonna be making your first shirt, you're probably not gonna wanna dish out that kind of cash on these prints. But the, the solid um, spandex knits, I think we sell them here, let me see. <clears throat> I can't even remember, obviously. $9.50 a yard, okay? So for $9.50 a yard, <clears throat> a lot more doable, okay? Especially because I'll tell you that for this tank top, in my size Z, I didn't even use a yard. I think I made it out of 29 inches. And in knits, if you're a quilter, you're not limited to like a 40 to 44 inch width. They come wider, they're like 58, almost 60 inches wide. So although it might seem like more per yard from some of the fabrics that you're used to buying for, you know, quickie little zip bag projects and stuff like that, you're getting more fabric in there for the amount, okay? Because it's wider. So keep that in mind too, okay? But again, it is a more affordable option and you can play around with it, uh, play around with the colors. You know, you can get a couple yards of just one fabric and play with that. And then with the off the cuts, you can make all kinds of stuff, headbands, um, I have a, tutorial, a free tutorial on my YouTube channel for my no-show slip socks that are made using a cotton spandex. So that would be a great way to make a, a shirt, right, for somebody or a little girl or a teenager or a tween or something and make them a pair of those little slip socks. They're kind of like no-show socks that I make and I give you the free pattern for it and I show you how to make the little slip socks um, out of cotton spandex. So all those little scraps, they're great to keep on hand, okay? So this tank top out of less than a yard and this I used a yard, I've had a yard of uh, the sleeve contrast fabric and a yard of this, but obviously I didn't use all of it, okay? So if you're gonna be making them multiple sizes, no doubt you'll be able to mix and match an adult size with a kid size of, of different prints and things like that, okay? So, whoop, I was trying to scroll up on questions. Let me see if anybody else has questions. Oh, I see somebody was asking about the pattern. So we have sold out right now, like a little while ago, we sold out of the hard copy patterns. We will be getting more in. Actually, when I'm done with this, I'm gonna go home and check my inventory and make sure that I don't have maybe a couple extra to throw on there um, to sell, but we will be ordering more. Um, these have been flying like hotcakes because as you can see, I mean, t-shirts, a racerback tank and a raglan tee, playing around with lengths. I'm, uh, my daughter actually today was choosing a couple of fabrics from here because she wants to make one. She wants me to make it for her, of course. Uh, let me show you. Oh, I have it on, duh. The racerback tank, but in a dress version. So we have in the pattern included the racerback tank with a tunic length. So I'm gonna measure the pattern to see how long the tunic length is for her size and see if I wanna add a little bit more because now that it's warming up here in Florida, she wants to wear just kind of like a loose, free-flowing tank top dress. Super cute and a yard is more than enough for sure to make that for her. So I'm excited to check that out and another option. So I think you'll be able to use this as a staple for wardrobes for you know females in the house or as gifts and things like that. So that is what we're gonna be doing. If you're just tuning in, I've released or opened up registration for my latest online garment sewing class. We are using Jolly 3245. This pattern that features four different looks of tops, racerback tank, which I'm wearing here in a regular length like this, and then also a tunic length that we can make it in. And then the raglan tee, which again, this is the regular length for wearing it as a top. And then we'll also be covering the tunic length that you can wear with, with leggings, right? That'll be cute and comfy also, all right? And the pattern includes 12, or 12, 29 different sizes from kids 12 month to women's size 22. So these are, this is size Z and this is size K. So like a kid's seven and a women's 13, okay? So that's that. And then, let's see, go ahead and post if you have any questions for me. Sorry that I keep looking down, but I control this thing for my phone. So I'm just trying to make sure that I don't miss all of the chat. 
If you guys let me know if you have any specific questions for me, the early bird sale price is 50 bucks right now. You get access to step-by-step -step video lessons that I roll out. I'm basically cramming it in to where all the video lessons on how to make all four looks, plus two bonus video lessons, and I'll walk you through those now. All you need to make these projects is a sewing machine that can do straight stitch and zigzag stitch, okay? If you have a serger, if you don't know what a serger is, don't worry about it because you don't need one for these projects. But if you have a serger, I'm including two bonus video lessons. One on how to make the projects with a serger, and two on how to finish the neckline and the hems of the projects using a cover stitch machine. So a serger or an overlocker and a cover stitch, these are specialty machines that when people really get into garment sewing, they tend to buy them. I have them because I love all the gadgets, right? All the machines and all the things. So. <clears throat> And um, that's gonna be bonus videos included in there. So if you don't have those machines, no worries. But if you see that you kind of start getting into making clothes and you really wanna do it for real, those would be great videos for you just to watch and see to see what those machines do. And that way you know if down the line you wanna save money to purchase these specialty machines, boom. Now you know what they do, okay? All right, so. The pattern itself, it sells for like $13.75, usually online $13.50, $14, somewhere around there. We sell them on our website for $12 US. Um, we're currently sold out, so I gotta check the inventory, but we will get some more in. Don't feel like you have to super duper get it right now because the first, um, the first video lesson in the online course goes up April 16th, so you still have some time. So I will let you all know before I leave this weekend to host my luxury um, handbag sewing retreat that I do, these retreats uh, every year. Uh, I leave on what Wednesday night I will let you know if we have some more in stock that we can pull from inventory or when the next batch of patterns will be in okay since we're currently sold out but if I were y'all I would check back in the morning because when I get home late tonight if I have any more I will put them up for sale so those of you that are night owls and that are kind of digging in there checking to see if I refreshed it or anything you may be able to get in and get some okay awesome so 50 bucks is the early bird sale price you're gonna get access to video lessons on all of these I tell people all the time Online classes, if you like the way that I teach and you find that you're able to make the projects easily from my instruction, my online paid courses is the way to go. Even if you come to take classes with me in person, they're gonna cost you a lot more because you are you have me for that specific time. And the one thing that I don't necessarily like about live in-person classes is that unless you're taking really good notes and taking pictures, which I have a lot of students do, you know, they'll take short video clips when I'm showing them a specific part of the project. If you're not doing all that, it's gonna be hard for you two or five months down the line to go back and remember, how did she do that neckline again when she showed me how to make this shirt, you know? So online classes, your access to the content never expires. Once you're in my classes, as we roll out the different video lessons, when they're there for you, they're there for you forever. So, you know, later on in the year, your kid comes up with a Halloween costume and you look and say, oh, this dress would be a great base for it. Log back into that video lesson, just refresh your memory like, oh, that's how I do this, boom, boom and then you can make it, okay? So in person, I would like to give the example, like I would teach you, say if I taught you how to make this raglan t-shirt. We would take up an all day class and I could not teach you all four in one class, so it would just be like one view, okay? It would be a class that I would teach from like 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., maybe 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. with a break in there for lunch, and that would cost you about 125 to $150 for that one day class, okay? And then you wouldn't have me anymore after you went home to ask me questions. I mean, you can ask me online, but it's not the same as having me right there or getting that visual instruction like you can do on video, okay? So for 50 bucks to get access to video lessons on all of these, you're paying $10.25 per class. <laughs> and, and it never expires. Like you can log in three years from now when you retire, boom, check it out and start making the shirts, right? So 50 bucks is the early bird sale price on Wednesday, April 10th. Uh, 2019 at 11:59 p.m. Eastern Time. The price jumps up all the way to $75. So if you want to save 25 bucks, you want to head over to craftygemini.com, and you'll see there on the homepage, or just click on the shop tab, and you can find for my online courses. You'll find the Raglan T and Racerback Tank online course. Okay. Hey Debbie. Um, and so that's what we're going to be working on next. Again, I said the early bird sale price is 50 bucks. Wednesday, April 10th at 11.59 p.m. midnight or whatever, right before midnight, the price goes up to 75 bucks. So if you wanna save the 25 bucks, get in on it now. We're gonna be covering those four looks. We'll talk fabrics. I will be selling kits. I just placed another huge order for solid cotton spandex because I think it's comfy. 
It's great for people to make multiple tops out of it, like I mentioned earlier. It's a more affordable option for those of you that are gonna be beginning, right? If you wanna try some out, Another thing I would recommend is getting a few different colors so you can mix and match, especially if you're gonna try your hand at making some of the smaller sizes. Look how much this is. This ain't nothing in fabric. So you can make a couple little kids shirts just as you warm yourself up and play around with the, how to put in the sleeves on the flat, which is super easy. If you can sew straight, you can totally do that. And then working on this neckband technique. So let me show you, because I keep telling people that the neckband technique itself is totally worth the price of the class alone. Whoop. Let me see where I can get you, hold on. Okay, so here's the neckline, okay? If you notice, on the outside, you see kind of like a full binding for it. It's like nice and full and it's top stitched. When we flip it to the wrong side, if you've tried different neck binding techniques, let me see how I can show you this. Can you see that there is no raw edge for you to trim up? There's no binding that needs to be, or like a seam allowance that needs to be top stitched down on the outside. It's just like a ridiculously smooth finish, y'all. This technique alone, learning how to do this, is totally worth the price of the class, okay? So, I mean, it's ridiculous. And so this same technique is done just here, right? Because the sleeves, we, we turn them under and hem them. So the same kind of a hem for the bottom. But um, here on the racer back tank, that's how the, the, the finish is right here, okay? On the neckline and on the two arm openings. I'm gonna tell you, because you guys know that I'm crazy a little bit, um, I love to cut corners when I can, and I put the neckband on with this technique using zero pins, and I'll show you how I do that in the video courses because sometimes people don't believe me, but I'm telling you, with a little practice, you totally can wing it. And so little things like that are gonna save you a ton of time. Uh, this neckline and two armholes, zero pins, and it looks perfect, okay? If you've always struggled with that kind of seam finish binding, because we all know tank tops are easy, right? They're just a front, a back, and then you have to somehow finish the arm openings and the neckband, right? Because there's no sleeve sticking out that you can just hem. So this is the trickiest part of a tank top, is the neckline and the two armholes. And with this technique, it's a joke. You can make this, I mean, even if you don't know what you're doing, less than an hour, for sure. I can make it in less than 30 probably, even if I just like wing it, okay? But another tip here for choosing your fabrics, solids, Stay away from light colored fabrics and dark colored threads for top stitching because any little wobble that you have in your stitches, it's gonna stand out more on a lighter fabric if you're using that darker thread. Go with a thread for the top stitching part here that blends into that fabric. Now you can also use a print like I have here, okay? Let me get this fabric for you. You can see, okay, there's black lines in the design. What color thread did I use? Black. <laughs> so my top stitching looks perfect. And even if there is a little bobble or say you run out of bobbin thread and you have to pick up where you finished off and so there's a little extra thread build up there that you need to pick up on, do a couple back stitches and then keep going so you don't have to take out what you've done. Those kind of little things that we run into sometimes, you're never gonna see that because it's black thread and it blends in with the print of the fabric. So. A busy print would be good if you can get some affordable, uh, busy fabric that you can play around with to begin with. Otherwise, if you're gonna go with the solid stuff, just work with a, a thread color that blends in, okay? Somebody was asking what all will the kit include? I call them kits, but it's really just the fabric. Um, it would be too much to have like different colored spool threads for each of the different fabrics people are choosing. Um, but I will say that you definitely wanna have some high quality, 100% polyester thread. That's what I recommend for when I'm sewing garments that have fabrics that have stretch. Because polyester, since it is a man-made fiber in the thread, right? We don't have polyester in the fabric per se, but in the thread itself, because it's a man-made fiber, it can stand up to the wear and tear of stretching that a stretch knit garment is going to have, more so than uh, a cotton thread. It's a, it's, a, it's a natural fiber, and when you pull cotton thread, it typically just pops, right? Or pops at least a little bit easier and not, uh, doesn't hold up as well as um, something like this that's gonna be getting a lot of stretch, especially in this area, or if you're making it as a workout tank um, to wear with sports bras and stuff like that, okay? So those are a couple tips there for you. But again, that's it, it's getting late. I'm gonna head home. I'm glad that this was a lot smoother live chat. Thank you all who came back. 
to watch the whole thing. We have announced uh, the opening of our brand new garment sewing class online. We're making t-shirts, a tank top and a raglan t-shirt. We're using Jali 3245 pattern. We have the hard copy pattern, but we will have them because we sold out. So we got to order some more in. We will have the fabric that I recommend. It's a cotton spandex. If you have a local fabric store near you that sells good quality apparel fabrics, check them out. Um, we're working with 95% cotton and 5% spandex here. You can make this in a ton of different knits. And we'll go over this in the first lesson because we have specific pattern suggestions as far as how much stretch you want to make sure that that fabric has for when you tackle this project. But we've made enough of these myself and a bunch of little kids that I've taught how to make this these uh, raglan t-shirts also to know that the cotton spandex works for everybody every size and it's going to be a good stable fabric that's also a natural you know it's mostly cotton you can wash and machine wash and dry um, and it works out good in any of the sizes that you want to give it a try at, okay so if you want to sign up for the class the early bird sale price is 50 bucks right now starting wednesday night after 11 59 p.m which is april 10th 2019 the price jumps up to 75 dollars you're watching this after the fact my apologies the price will never go back down if you miss the early bird sale price I don't know what to tell you you can sign up at the $75 price or you can stick around and see what other classes I roll out and see if maybe you can jump on one of those at the early bird sale price okay so oh that's a good question Marsha's asking can you pre-order your pattern let me get home from here when I get home tonight let me see if I'll add it up there if um, check back later tonight or in the morning and if you see that it's letting you check out, I'll include a description there to say, you know, if you're purchasing this pattern now, it's for a pre-order, and that way we know exactly how many to order in. That's a good idea, too. That way people don't feel like they're totally missing out, and um, we can ship those out to you as soon as we get them back in stock, So we, because we are going to be reordering anyway. So great suggestion. Thank you. Oh, great. Nancy says that the video played perfectly. Thank you, Nancy. Awesome, awesome to hear that. I hope that you guys will tune in. I hope you'll check it out. And if you've been wanting to make 2019 the year that you make clothes, I think this would be a great little project to start with, um, again, because you can always start off making it for kids first and then move up into making it um, for your own size. Remember that the pattern we're using covers 29 sizes, from kids size 12 month all the way to a US women's size 22. So if you're wondering about size range, that's also a size range. All the tops that you see here, we have made in all the sizes with zero modifications. This is my size Z, no modifications at all whatsoever. And I only made it on a sewing machine with straight stitch and zigzag stitch capabilities. No serger needed to get nice looking tops that you can totally wear, okay? But remember that in the course, I will include two additional bonus video lessons on how to make them using a serger and uh, finishing them off with a cover stitch. So those are options that if you have those machines, you will like. If you don't have them, maybe something for you to check out and be like, oh yeah, I'll never need that machine. Or something that you might want to be like, hmm. I can see how I might need that if I keep making clothes, right? Thanks, Pat. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, I will check and see if there's any more last-minute questions coming in, but otherwise, that's it. I hope to see you all signed up in the online class, and I'm excited to cover this one. And actually, some people have asked me how long is it going to take for the class, like when are they going to get to the racerback tank tunic length one, right? So I'm going to cover these projects in the next three weeks. So if you've been wanting to make tops like right now for spring and summer, you're going to be able to crank through these. Meaning next month, you'll log in and all the video lessons for all the projects will already be up there. Okay, so you don't have to wait. Because sometimes when they're more in-depth projects, we take a longer time, you know, 8 to 12 weeks to cover all the content. But I'm going to crank it out four different looks in about three, three and a half weeks or so. And when you log in, um, and you can see this on the, on the page or the course description page also, is that you will see uh, a little chart that I made with all the dates telling you what date each new additional video lesson will be posted to your online account, okay? For those of you that are signed up as students. So thank you everybody for tuning in. I appreciate your patience. Well, we had some technical difficulties on the first live chat and I'll see y'all in the next video.